Hello and welcome to Startup Hack. Today we are going to talk about webhooks in .NET. So let's jump right in. Make sure to check out the link down below because we always provide the code samples that you can pull down and follow along so you can see in our project. Do you want to earn a hundred thousand dollars a year? Do you want to become a software developer within just three months? With our amazing course and awesome tutors, you never have to worry about getting stuck. We help students to learn skills that companies want to hire. We are Startup Hack. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So let's get started. All right, let's start with the problem with request response. One of the issues with request response is the synchronous nature of the pattern. Let's look at the practical real world example. You want to check if a new item has arrived in a stock. Pretty easy. You query the warehouse and ask if there is a new item in stock since your last check. But what if, if you want to be notified as soon as a new item arrives? With the regular request response approach, we would be using some sort of polling technique, querying in set terminals, either regular polling, less efficient, or long polling, more efficient. In both approaches, we would be still be querying the server regularly, which waste precious resources and doesn't scale very well we need some kind of a way to allow clients to subscribe to retrieve news about a topic and for the server to publish those news to the subscribers without them asking for it all right what is a web hook web hooks are somewhat of a middle ground between request response communication and a full-blown published subscribe system they solve the problem of asynchronous communication without the complexity of broker infrastructure they are essentially a callback mechanism implemented over a network they allow a client to subscribe a topic and the server to inform the client on the news about the topic all right the building blocks there are few essential building blocks in a webhook system subscription this is the model that contains the necessary information to inform a single client subscribe to a topic it must contain the topic and the callback uri topic this is the topic of the subscription it usually represents a domain event for example a new item being created callback the callback uri is what the server sends the Pillow too. It is the responsibility of the client to implement an API endpoint on this URI and ensure that it accepts the payload the server sends. What is the payload? This is a simple message containing the information about the event, usually a serialized JSON representation of an event. So what is trigger? This is the what triggers the webhook. Domain-wise, it is an event on a certain topic. Technically-wise, it can be anything from a simple in-process method called to an event handler that consume a message from another part of the system. Okay, now let's start with implementing a webhook server. To implement a webhook server, let's set up a single API endpoint. This endpoint will call our webhook service where we will implement the business logic. We define a subscription model which simply contains a topic and a callback. We implement a single subscribe method. For demonstration purposes, we keep a list of subscriptions in memory. Usually, you would want to store in this in a database. So here's an example. Next, we need to add the trigger mechanism. For the purpose of testing, we will add another API endpoint which will call our publish message method in the webhook service. Let's implement it inside our webhook service. Whenever a message is published on a topic, we will get all the subscriptions for that topic and send them the message as a payload. Now implementing a webhook client. Our webhook client will subscribe to the item.new topic. It will provide a callback URI and implement the endpoint with a simple lock to the console. We will run the server on localhost 503 and the client on 5004. All right, the last thing is triggering the webhook. Now that we have set up a simple webhook server and a client, it is time to test it. Let's invoke the trigger endpoint using PowerShell. If you are on Mac or Linux, you can use curl. In the body, we will set the topic to item.new. The message will contain simple information about the item, a name, and a price. If everything is set up correctly, you should see the this in the client's console. 
So this is how you get response from the client's console and it is showing five items over here and getting the payload and on the server you are seeing this. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned the concept of webhooks in dotnet so don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates to joining our course you can simply go to our website called startuphack.com thank you